What's up guys, it's your boy Junior here bringing another great video to the channel and if this is the first time you're here to my channel make sure you guys like all my videos, share my videos, comment all my videos and if you still haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, enable bell notifications so you don't miss out every time I drop great videos like this one or whenever I go live because trust me guys, I come out with a lot of good videos on this channel and I'm pretty sure you guys do not want to miss out on anything. Alright, so if you guys remember some time ago, I did an unboxing on this great device here that I bought from Harbor Freight. Was this right here? This deluxe manual fluid extraction dispenser. And the main reason I told you guys that I was gonna get it, there's a lot of things you could use that for. But the main reason I got it, because I saw it on somewhere on TikTok, some guy used it as to do an oil change. So I'm like, yo, that'll make life so much easier. Well, not easier, I think it'll make it cleaner. Cause to get underneath the car and go ahead and unscrew it. And it's, sometimes when you drop it, you don't have a big enough tent. Sometimes you might miss a little bit or a little bit might drip on the ground. That's why a lot, a lot of people like to put a mat on the floor and then put the oil pan underneath and do it. Even at shops, cause my brother, God rest his soul, you, when he worked at Toyota and he did my oil changes, I see him do the oil changes. Even when the oil is dripping and uh, coming out, you know, it sometimes pops up the marks of it. So it got places on the floor sometimes and everything. So it's never a, a complete 100% clean oil chain. So when I saw this on TikTok, I was like, yo, that is a good idea doing that with the oil chain. So today, I'm going to do a full oil change on my S2000 because I had been meaning to do it. I haven't had time because I've been so busy. So today, Saturday, today was the day I'm recording the videos on Saturday. It's the only time that I know that I have nothing to do for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll do something later on tonight, but it's the only time that I actually found for the free time. So I decided, let me go ahead and do the oil change now. I already got the stuff ready and I'm gonna try to do it with this. I was just gonna put the pan underneath, drain it the normal way and then do it. But I actually wanna do this, do it with this device because I've been wanting to try it out and see how much it takes out. So this is gonna help me determine if I'm gonna keep using it or not because I wanna see how fast I can extract the oil. That's one. And the second main thing is how much oil is still left behind because I can't see and move the hose and grab every little inch. So you know there's gonna be sometimes, in my, in my, in my mind, I'm seeing that there's gonna be some left over. So using this, I'm gonna, that's gonna figure out everything I wanna do in the future. And also because on the S2000, I can grab the oil uh, filter from the top. So that's gonna prevent me from having to jack up the car. But we'll see how everything turns out because this is the first oil change I'm doing on this car since I got it. Um, and then it needed to, because I had a brand new oil change before I took hand of it. So we're gonna work on that today and then I'm gonna take you through the whole process and show you everything I'm doing and see where it goes, all right? So right now I'm just like this, you're gonna see me dress differently once I go outside because this is, this is my house clothes. I'm wearing some dirty clothes to so go do it outside. All right, so I catch you now on the outside. So here I am using the extractor from Whole Industry. And one of the things I've seen people use this for is take out the oil from the car so you don't have to drop it from the bottom. But in this case, I'm doing it from the top like I am right here. Look, it go right into where the dipstick goes in and it's coming now and it going into there. So far, I mean, it's a slow process, but you see, it's filling up. And you can see what, I don't know if you can see it there, but you see it flowing out. So you pump it a few times and let, let the gravity take place. So right now I'm doing this. After I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the car and then check the oil underneath by putting the pan on the bottom. So right now I'm just doing this part now, take as much as possible out and see how how much I could take out with just using the pump here. And once I'm done here, once I see nothing else coming out here, I'll go ahead and check underneath and show you what's going on. All right, so we'll be back once this is fully done. All right, guys, so we went ahead and removed as much oil we can. As you see, still connected. It's still in there and the light looks pretty empty. I mean, of course, it left over residue. I gotta clean that out. But it looks like it's about four quarts with the, the motor takes. So let's go ahead and see how much is underneath left. So what I'm gonna do now, 
as I got everything ready over here, I'm gonna go ahead and lift the car up and then unbolt the bottom screw and see how much falls out, all right? All right, guys, so I did check it out. I, when I pulled everything out, it was about a quarter of a cup full of leftovers. So not that much leftover. So this actually did a pretty good job. And now all I'm gonna do is replace the filter, which is right there. Replace the filter and put everything back together and then I'll give my final thoughts. All right, so I just finished the oil change on the S2000. So that bottle is empty. I only had to use that for like a, like I said a quarter of a cup one fourth of a cup basically and now the oil is still in the whole dispenser thing so now what I'm gonna do is put all that oil that's in there in here and if, I'm pretty sure you can see it, it's empty so what I'm gonna do since it's in it was in evacuate that's how you to take it out now we push down is gonna dispense. So take all this and put it in that bottle. So basically, all I'm gonna do now that I switched it, switch the switch, and I'm gonna put it the worst, worst way, and you see all the thing goes inside there. So you can see that it's really working. I'm gonna take it here, and you can see all the oil is going out, as you see right there. So I'm gonna put it back, and I'm gonna finish this up here. Once I finish this up, let's see what happens next. All right, guys, so I just finished doing the oil changer on S2000. Now, here are my final thoughts. Is it worth spending the money to get that thing? Yes and no. And I say that very, very loosely because, yes, I would do it because it makes it easier to dispense stuff out of buckets or anything you want to take something out and put it in. As far as oil changes, it makes things a lot cleaner to do. So that's the reason I would say yes. And then no, because it takes forever to dispense the, to take out the oil and everything takes forever because it's a long process. You're going, you're doing a four quarts of oil, four to five quarts in a little tube, like about that big. And that takes longer. Like normally an oil change, when you actually take out the nut on the bottom and let it drain out, it takes probably, I want to say about maybe 30 seconds to a minute for it to completely drain out. It doesn't take long. So this took about maybe 10 to 15 minutes for it to completely drain. So it does take a lot longer. So that's the reason why I say yes and no. So is it a good device? Yes, it does exactly what it says and it works very well. I'm very satisfied with the outcome. And when it comes to oil changes, it doesn't take everything completely out. It takes most of it. I would say 99, 98% out of it completely it takes out. But then again, you still have some stuff that's still left over that you still got to drain from the bottom. Like I did, like I said, it takes about maybe a quarter to a half a cup of leftover oil from when I drained it from the bottom. So that's up to you how you want to do it. But am I going to do it again this way? Probably not just because it takes so much longer. I'll just do it the original way, just drain it from the bottom and just leave it like that. And that's it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you today. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everybody is aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. Also, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And also, guys, if you still haven't done so at the end of the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we go live or whenever we drop new videos. And that's it. Until next time, this is Junior signing out. Peace.